Hello everybody, welcome to this video on improving one turn touchdown defences in Blood Bowl. In these examples we're going to be looking at a basic Orc team with no skills and a basic Skaven team with no skills. Each example is going to have a better chance of stopping the score than the previous one, uh, but in all the examples we'll assume that the ball lands somewhere easy and there are no unusual kickoff events. In this first example, the Orc coach is just set up as they would for any other drive um, with a Chevron defence, which you'd normally see in turn one. Uh, this allows the Skaven team to do two pushes, a two plus pickup and a three plus handoff, and then a three three two dodge plus two rushes to score the touchdown. And that's with a probability of 12.9% without a reroll or 32.5% with a reroll. In this setup, the Orc coach has made an effort to defend the one turn. They spread the Orcs out near the touchdown zone to force a 4-3-2 dodge through there. And they've also spread the Orcs out slightly on the Allo West to make the pushing a little bit harder. And they've also put them to one side, so if they get a perfect defence kickoff event, they can move them to the other side. The Skaven can still get the two pushes they need to push the gutter runner into scoring range. But here uh, we're going to need to do a 2 plus pick up and then a, a 3 plus handoff because the gutter runner is in one tackle zone. So here you can see the probability of scoring is 9.6% without a reroll or 24.9% with a reroll. So that's uh, over a 3% improvement compared to the previous setup. In this setup, the Orc coach has split the LOS so that it means that the Skaven coach will have to do uh, the whole technique which involves three pushes in order to be able to push the gutter runner forwards the two squares they need to score the touchdown. You can see in the backfield we now have two rows of orcs. Uh, here there's a gap of two in between them. Um, so the idea here is that it's going to force the gutter runners to do more dodges as they dodge through, through the backfield. But you can actually see separating them out this much is a mistake because they can now dodge through on a 3-3-3-2, three, 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 escaping the last row of orcs, um, and it's not as hard as it should be. Here the orc coach is set up with only a one gap between the rows in the backfield, and now the gutter runner can dodge through still the 3-4-3-2, three, three, they're still able to escape, but it has now dropped to 6.3% without a reroll, or 18.1% with a reroll. Finally, we've got the orcs right next to each other in the backfield, so now as the gutter runner dodges through, they have to take the path all the way through, which is a 4-4-3-2. So now we're at 5% without a reroll or 14.8% with the reroll. So as you can see, this is the best setup. In this setup, the orcs have set up even more aggressively, moving forwards one square in the backfield. Again, with a split LOS forcing the whole technique. Uh, important note here is you should never do this setup against uh, a gutter runner who has sidestep because that will actually give them a 20% chance of scoring. I'll put a link to that one in the top right corner so you can see how that one is done. Here we've had to do a catch in a tackle zone and we're also doing a 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus dodge to get through the, the backfield. And we've now got a probability of 4.5% without reroll or 13.7% with a reroll. This setup by the Orts will tempt the Skaven to use the whole technique to push down towards the left uh, and it makes it quite difficult because you'll be catching in two tackle zones and you also have a quite nasty 5 plus dodge. This is one of my favourite setups against movement 7 and movement 8 teams because they actually uh, end up with nowhere to go after the third push and the second push on the ball carrier. I'll put a link into the top right though how uh, a Lizardman team can defeat this one if they do have a sidestep skink. So as you can see, we're doing a five plus, four plus, two plus dodge to get through to the end zone. And this ends up giving it only a 2.6% chance of scoring without a reroll or an 8.3% chance with a reroll. I've never actually seen this set up in a game, but I saw it in a forum post and I thought it was quite interesting to show here. So you start off with um, two three plus dodges to get through the gutter runner, to then take minus two D or two red dice to push down the orc, uh, followed by two other pushes. 
the reason why you might not see it very often is it does give surfing chances and also possibilities with the quick snap kickoff event. And then after this, you also have to throw the ball, so you're risking an interception chance. And then the odds for this one is um, the best one so far at 1.9% without a reroll or 5.6% with a reroll. Although not totally accurate as you can't reroll an interception and we also ignore the chances of if the second push is a pow, you've still got a slim chance of getting the ball and scoring. Okay, on to the final setup. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. All you have to do now to 100% stop the score is... Kill the gutter runners.